Okay guys, uh, so this is me making a, uh, another video about a few websites that I do want to talk about um, that I've been using quite uh, regularly. Um, now these websites for me have to do with Cody as well. They don't have to specifically uh, mean that you have to absolutely use them only through Cody. Uh, these websites can be used just through the internet in general, like your uh, regular browser. Um, if you happen to have a Fire TV though, they're nice because uh, it's another way to either track what media you're, uh, you've been playing or uh, you know download your media or just stream your media. Um, and later on I will actually show a add-on that uh, I believe uh, is really good for using if you have uh, any of these accounts. The add-on would be through Kodi, um, but these do not have to be used through Kodi. They can be used uh, just pretty much you could, uh, if you know how to mirror from your uh, fire from your tablet to your fire stick, they can be used in that fashion, or they can just be used, you know, uh, in the, uh, in the uh, add-on that I'm going to tell you guys about in another video. But uh, now I did notice that a lot of add-ons in Kodi um, are asking you about this here. Uh, it is tracked.tv. Um, if I can, I'll put these in the description. If I can, I'll put any uh, like actual clickable links. I'm not sure that I really know how to do that yet, but I'll try to do it for you guys. So uh, maybe make things a little bit easier for you. Um, now this one, on a lot of add-ons I've been noticing on uh, Kodi, this one will actually uh, pretty much, it looks like it'll track and uh, and and uh, pretty much, uh, not really, I guess just track and let you know what you've been watching. I think it has to do with like uh, in some add-ons with your favorites too. If you add something to your favorites, I think it'll use this here website to uh, pretty much just keep your media, I think, in order. And just help you out a little bit. Um, now, I do um, suggest that you just go ahead and and make a uh, make a account at this here track uh, TV. You can just hit join track TV over here on the right side, and then uh, I would just give them you know a junk email one that's not you know one that's not really important, but one that you could use for that, and then just create a sign in uh, for it. You know, like a, a password or whatever. Um, some of these websites might make you uh, have you make a uh, user name, or some might just use your uh, email. Whichever way you got to do it, just get it done and remember that. Maybe write it down somewhere. Like I said, I would just use a junk email for all of these things here. Um, and Easy News, okay. Now this is one that I've been subscribed to for a long while. Um, I did see on the uh, on the actual add-on that uh, that I'm going to tell you guys about in a later. Uh, video that this is an option. It looks like you can uh, you can use this as a source or a scrapper where it'll it might pull media I think from this actual website. And if you have an account that you pay for for it, I'd imagine it would be even better. Um, I was able to watch a movie earlier today, and uh, I I actually clicked this uh, link and then I had no issues. You just uh, fired right up and no buffering, no nothing. Um, again, I do have an account, so. Uh, it is easy news and I'll put it in the description. You would have to sign up for an account. They offer, uh, you, you could do like basic plans and you could do basic plans plus uh, uh, virtual, what is it called? Virtual, virtual, I think it's virtual network. Wait, let me see. Virtual, oh, virtual private network, okay. So that's pretty much just for, uh, so you can, uh, Pretty much download and uh, and the stuff that you do through this website won't really be shown uh, like your uh, they won't leave, it won't be pretty much uh, leave any footprints pretty much so untraceable type stuff um, the the actual account that I use is I think I only get like 20 gigs a month but it continues to roll over um, and uh, the stuff that you don't use, you just keep using. So uh, this is a pretty good site. Go check it out, Easy News. And then uh, if you choose to, sign up with them. Aurora.tv is actually another good one. Um, I was having a little bit of issues at first uh, finding their page, but uh, 
if you go to their page, Aurora.tv, and then uh, you actually see like a 404, uh, like page not found or something, there will be an email on the like bottom right. Uh, go ahead and copy and paste that. And then if you're interested, go ahead and ask them what it's about. Um, well, specifically, actually, you want to ask them uh, to provide you a link and they'll email you back. It'll probably be all these all these websites for some reason they they tend to go into your uh, junk mail or spam. So uh, you'll have to get through them in there. But uh, if you ask them, you can uh, you can go ahead and create a, a, a login through them, um, and then you could pretty much make an account for yourself. And from there, you could choose uh, what you want to do as far as you know if you want to do subscriptions or whatever. Uh, here are some payment options. I think here we got, and they are in euros, but it, it works out to like five bucks a month or something like that. Um, and you could pay for a month, three months. It looks like six months and 12 months. Um, these are definitely something that I recommend doing because you could, uh, like I said, you could just stream this stuff to your uh, actual fire stick. Or if the, uh, add on through Cody actually supports it, you can, uh, use it in that fashion too. So uh, later on, I don't know if I'll do it now or, or a little bit later, but uh, go ahead and subscribe to at least maybe two of these if you guys wanna have some uh, some surefire media uh, ways uh, or options, you know, for Cody. And uh, later on, I'll let you know about uh, the add-on that I've been using with uh, these here websites. All right, bye.